What's up, everybody? Look where I am. I'm on 175th Street. This used to be Reverend Ike's church. It was a movie theater before Reverend Ike took over. But I remember this used to be a Reverend Ike church. Reverend Ike. Go online. His name was Reverend Ike. I'm up in Washington Heights. I'm in the Heights. I told y'all I grew up up here when I was a little boy. I didn't stay long. I lived on 160th in Edgecombe. And I grew up on 161st, so I showed y'all. But being up here brings back a lot of memories because I don't remember none of this shit. I don't remember none of this shit. None of this. I don't remember none of this. They got a hospital up there. This is the Washington Heights. This is the Heights. Look at that. Yeah, right there. It's like two diners. I like that. It's like diners. That shit is hot. And I told you, like, I always wanted my dream. Well, not my dream. I always wanted to, like, eat at every diner. I could in New York City because I like going to diners. You know when I used to live on Kings Bridge in the Bronx, that was you know when I was writing my novel, Pretty Ugly, that used to be fun to me because I used to stay up all hours of the night. I used to go to the diner like three o'clock in the morning and drink a cup of coffee. And you know, I used to pretend in my head like I was a like some kind of rock and roll star on the road and shit. And you know, we was traveling because back in the days, you know, back in the days I had to travel by bus. And they used to go, you know, like black R&B singers used to have to go through them hick towns and shit. And that's what I used to pretend like I was a, you know, R&B singer on the road and shit. I had to go through the hick towns. But this place is funny up here to me. I haven't been up here in years. Okay. Oh. So I was going to make a video about me. And the video was going to be entitled, I Can Sell Anything. I Can Sell Any Fucking Thing, man. Anything. I got the gift to gather so any fucking thing. And the reason I said it is because I don't have any books on me right now. Well, I have books, but I only got about 300 of them, and I don't want to sell them. And, you know, I'd rather. But I've been selling this. I got DVDs, and my DVD is a DVD that I made, that I made a long time ago. And I really don't like selling it because if you ask me, it's about. I just don't like selling them, but I sell them anyway, you know, I go out there and do what I gotta do, and I sold, I sold damn near, I sold, uh, let me hear this, I, I made $215 a day, or for my DVD, I told you, when I first came out with my books, I could sell $300 worth of book. I used to sell like 30 books a day. Sometimes I would sell 40, 50. I mean, one day I sold 80. I came home with $860 in one day. And what happened was, I was on the train. I got on the, uh, the E train, I think it was. And I had like 20 books. And the people bought all 20 books right then and there. So that was $200. And it's like, man, on that day I got on the train, I just couldn't go wrong. It was like every car I got on, I made ten dollars. And I stayed outside for about, I stayed outside for about ten hours, and came in the house with eight hundred dollars. You know, I had two days like that. Two days, two days. One day, one day I was walking out the street with my books, and this tour guide stopped me, and he had a whole bunch of tourists from Germany. And the Taurus, and what happened was, I had 30 books on me. I had, I had a scheduled book signing. So when I get to the book signing, the fucking guy didn't send out no emails or nothing. I was the only one there, which is me and him. And nobody showed up to the book signing. So I had 30 books in my bag. I'm like, fuck. So I didn't get mad. I just started walking home. I walked home. I got to 130 Fish Street, and this tour guy had stopped me. And he had about... 30 fucking tourists with him. And they bought every book I had right then and there. So that was $300 I made in about eight minutes. And then one night I had a regular day. I sold about 20 books. I was on my way home. And that's when I was in Far Rockaway. And I got on the train. And I don't know. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going to try to sell some books while I go home. And I sold one book. And before you know it, I sold 30 books right then and there. Yeah, made 500 and something dollars. Because I had $200 that morning and sold 30 something books right then and there. So it was like three of the best days I had. One day I made 
Oh, that day I made eight hundred dollars. I went outside the next day and made five hundred dollars. That was a good week. But yeah, man, I tell you, I can sell any fucking thing. I don't play. I don't play. This is America, man. All you gotta have is the gift of gab. All right, let me get out of here, y'all. Get my book offline. Because other than me trying to talk about how good of a salesman I am, it is a good book. You know, honestly, right? Let me see how that is.